Very good, right there, man. You okay. betcha. And you are secure and free to navigate. Okay, thank you. Okay. Normally we do a partnership with BGSU to have a pantry and uh, since campus is closed down we want to make sure we continue to serve students and the community who are still here um, in BG. So we're all about getting people food who need it. I think we are seeing more community members um, aware now that it's not on campus and then I think we just are seeing a lot of people concerned and maybe not having access to food uh, because of the quarantine and, and staying at home. Well, food for Thought is all about feeding people in a thoughtful way. For us, that means uh, respecting them, showing a sense of dignity, and really maintaining um, that respect for people who are in a vulnerable situation. Uh, for us, it also means having fresh fruit and vegetables, as well as shelf-stable items. Ohio, uh, in general, is doing a good job. Like, they were, like, ahead. Uh, if you look at you know Michigan and how many uh, cases they're having and compared to to Ohio, um, but I do think that it's, it it's good to be you know I think in situations like this to kind of exaggerate a little bit and you know keep people indoors and um, so that we can you know I feel like months from now or a year from now when we look back and people are ah, it was not a big deal you know thank God it was not a big deal because we could all stay indoors. We packed our trailer as full as we could, so that's about 100 servings. Um, so unfortunately we might run out, but there is a pantry here this evening, so we should be able to serve everyone who needs it between the two. Financial donations really help. Um, right now we're still able to source a lot of food, but maintaining that fresh produce comes at a cost.